Yo, what's going on? Alright, episode 35. Guys, we're at the conference championship week because the last game of the season, I played Baylor and absolutely destroyed them. Like, it's not even worthy of uploading. In the previous video, I beat the door handles off of, uh, off of Kansas. I mean, I only allowed three points. So, no point in me doing that. I'll show you the score at least. Okay, six points. 49 to six. 42 to three. So in the past two games, we've allowed nine points. The defense has gone ham. We've gone ham. Bama moved up to number three. Okay, good for them. I think because, wow, there's still a possibility we could play Bama. Somebody's got to crap the bed, though. Uh, that would be Oregon. <laughs> if Bama beats Tennessee, I think they're jumping Oregon. I really think so. If Michigan State wins. Oh, man. This is, this is just for the title. This is gonna this is gonna be one for the ages, man. We gotta win. That's the only thing we can do. That's the only thing we can do. So let's go to the Heisman. Alright, yeah, we didn't really run that much last game. So we're sitting at 26 touchdowns for the season. I mean that's still not bad. I don't think it's bad. I mean running for 26 touchdowns in a season. Let's go to championship contenders, see where they got us at. 1, 9, 17, 9. Okay, so they're keeping us in the top 25, which is good. That means no matter what we end up this year, we could lose the next two games. We'll still be ranked. I added uh, quite a few recruits that I feel like I can develop. Terry Osborne, he's interesting. Don't really know if I want him that much, but he is highly rated. Jeff Watkins, I want this center. I want this tackle. I need the punter. And all these other guys are guys that I was thinking about bringing in. I found this 308 pound defensive tackle. And I might put some points in. I might put some points into these guys. And my main focus are going to be the top four because that's what I need. Um, and we got uh, Jordan Newton center to commit. So, I mean, we technically have a backup center, but I'd really like to just pump that position up. We got an outside linebacker that we can develop. Tackles, guard, another center, another guard. So, I mean, dudes that we can definitely start by their senior year. Um, I mean, they may be 70 overall if they, like, plus 8 every year, so that's like 24. So they'd be a 74 overall at the max, you know, if they're a base score of 50. <laughs> I mean, but hey, it's, it's something, and it gives us time, you know, because I think we do have some upperclassmen coming back. So... We're playing West Virginia University. Um, we moved up to number one, and hopefully we can just keep keep this series going. I want to thank you all for being the best part of you know my YouTube channel. You guys really make it fun. I mean, anytime you guys comment, like I just I love seeing it. You know, <laughs> sometimes they're not all good comments, but hey. You know what? It, it gives me something to look forward to. Kimbro sitting at second in the nation for, for passing yards. Uh, Bowen's top ten. Uh, receiving Michael Turner still at the top. Uh, tackle leaders. Look at that. Those boys. Those boys are still there, man. Not sure if they're going to get caught. Look at that. Joel Johnson, 18 sacks on the season. That's stupid. Uh, Joey Odom sitting there at three picks. 11 picks? Wow. I, that's that's super impressive, man. That's really impressive. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, I bumped up our defensive coordinator. I want to show you guys why like we struggled against Alabama. Okay? So, we got solid freshmen. Look at that. He was level one. He had nothing. 
and we bump this guy up to a level 5 at the end of the season. So if this guy stays 4 years, it'll be a level 20. Um, and I bumped up, let's see, so we've got man and zone. So that's, that's what I wanted. Our guys are good enough up front and don't need to focus on this right now. But our secondary does need a little bit of help. And, of course, our um, offensive coordinator is maxed out. I expect him to leave. And we are maxed out. Because, you know, we do what we got to do. All right, guys. So, big game. Lego. All right, guys. So, first play, I'm going to come out with something new. The tank! The tank! First play! So, news. News flash. Bama beat Tennessee in the SEC title. So, there is a chance that we could face Bama again if we win. Cyclones have a lot at stake here, including. Definitely want to take advantage of everybody's skills set here. Dude, I made two dudes miss with traffic. That Bama win does make our overtime loss look a little bit better. There we go. Six yards. Obviously, West Virginia is going to be a passing offense. Key here is getting our, our offense to keep that ball for very long periods of time here. Dude. But they're going to lose yards. Third down. It does, the field it does here. hurt Let's me see what the defense does in with some a areas. Here we go. Uh, we're bringing out Strickland here. There we go. That man. Good job that man the early lead in their conference title. Ready. Ready. Let's see what we got. Caught. Open field. Dang, that was a pop. Hard to pick up the first. Three down, three down. Keep the seven to Mike. Watch with the seven. So driving down. Let's see what we got. Mm, yes, sir. At about the three-yard line. We've got All big play potential. Both teams have their big sets going on here. here. Let's see what we can do. Tries to get around the corner. Yeah, you're not going to catch that one. You're just not. There we go. First touchdown. Let's go. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punch. You ain't going nowhere. Reaction screen. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down. Okay, three yards. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There are flags all yeah, over the Yeah, there place. you go. Here's the call from the head referee. Encroachment. Defense. They're giving away free yards and Still only making down. life easier for the guys. On All right. I'm going to run a play action pass here. I got Turner coming in short. Yo, touchdown. Aaron Moore. That was a great call. Let's go. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to mm, single out just one too. of them to stop. Let's see if I can spread them out. Zips it to the tight end. There we go. Oh, dude, that was too fast. Sometimes it's just a risk. It's like that. I can't chance it with him. I'm going to bring in Higgins because he's a big boy. And he can take those hits. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Oh. Inside the oh. 10. Oh. And a huge oh. touchdown play. <laughs> and for Bowen, he may just set a new NCAA mark for rushing scores. Not even fair. Like every time we've seen him play, Not even score. fair. I bet lots of defenses feel that way, too. Oh. Oh, boop. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. We get that man a towel. No. Oh, 
Oh, yes. The Mountaineers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Incomplete. Yes. Was that Odom? No, that was Corey Johnson, the freshman. The same result on this one. They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. He's going to go for the home run. No. He mossed him again. I thought it was a pick. You're kidding me, dude. Turner. Turner's turn. He was a former running back. We changed him to a wide receiver. Best thing we could have done for his career. Double coverage. Threw it up. Boom. What? Oh. All right, so we're going to come out here. Here we go. King's there. Looking for the corner. Touchdown. Touchdown. Cyclone. That's number three. He's now got more rushing touchdowns than anybody else in NCAA history. Think about what a luxury Ooh, it's been for these guys to call the record. for a touchdown whenever they needed one. Ball, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Going deep. Oh, that was picked by Nash. Oh. Impact player that every team in the Did he get would that? Love to have on their team. And we've seen some early film on him. Kirk and I, you know, we looked at it. He Did he get legit, that? But we'll see if it translates wow. to real cover. Big third down. Let's get in there. Deep ball. No. What are you doing, Nash? You gotta turn around. bounds at the one yard line. I don't know. For That's a glitch, dude. That's so stupid. Record for single season oh come he's taken on, man. Every secondary they faced, and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. They put everyone up on the line. Nope. And he just gets rid of it. Good D. No way. Ah, oh, good play. And I tried to hold him to nothing. Score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And that was a display of some very strong running to get through those tacklers. And he converts the extra point. West Virginia is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Kimbrough's play so far, Kirk, is really what we expected. I mean, I don't think we're shocked at all at how well he's playing right now. It's second down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Here, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come. Throwing right. Throws quick. Dang, the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Ah, just too fast. That was good. Trying to do too much. He makes the PAT, a short three-play, 33-yard drive, and they add seven points. I'm definitely going to call a timeout. Going deep, lays it out there. Get mossed. Get mossed. Dude, that guy has a cheat code. I know you guys saw that. Holy cow. Wide receiver oh, that, down the field what? That touchdown connection. I he thought that was going to be a pick, the dude. defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Just, Once he it, got the ball, I'm he did <laughs> all the heavy lifting to take I, I don't know what to say, man. Let's do it. It's your body to heat up. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He's going left. Intercepted. Oh, I threw a pick. Okay. Oh, well, we're up 35-14. Let's take it to the halftime, guys.
Well, we played a half of football. The Cyclones with a three touchdown advantage. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Exciting first half there. It seemed like every time you turned around, there was another big play. Both of these offenses coming up with yards and chunks, and it's really paid off for them in the first half. Yeah, and uh, it's one thing for offenses to execute and, and get little plays here and there and continue drives, but it's really nice when you hit home runs. It's really nice to make it simple and say, all right, we're going to get about 50 right here. We're going to get about 30 right here. You know, the offense came simple. Uh, you know, great job playmakers making plays, breaking tackles, you know, spinning off players, making big making big gains. You know, listen, it makes offense very simple. There's no secret to it. If you got all explosive offenses that can do this, you can get big chunk plays, they're going to score a lot of points every single game. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right. Second down. I wanted to get just a little bit more time in with my dudes. Brought down after a nice There we go. The What's Bowen sitting at, man? Five touchdowns, man. Holy cow. Higgins comes in at quarterback. All right, so Mr. Higgins checks in. They'll bring him down. There we go, 10 yards. 127 five touchdowns. What the crap? First and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. Incomplete. Dang, I tried to go that for it. The greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Higgins comes in at quarterback. I mean, this is more than a comfortable lead for us. So let's see if we can just shut them out. The pitch, and he's got some room. There we go. Stay on that sideline. Get that first. First down, 10 yards to go. Yeah, if we all score this 50. touchdown, man, sim in the rest of the game. With five wideouts. He's gonna go for the home run. Doesn't get oh, there. No. The catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Yeah, this play is number eight on the drive. Iowa State comes to the line and complete Thank control. McBride. Throws complete. He's got room to work. You yeah, had blockers, bro. Short completion. He's got 75 yards, though. Nice. They're about four yards away here on third down. All right, there's Holmes. He's going on a straight, flat route. Oh, that was a terrible read. That was my fault. Dang, I can't believe I did that. I thought I had him. That's the end of the ball game. Yo. Our final score in this one. Yo. State, 63, West Virginia, 21. Our team, so like, Kirk, turned it on. And, yeah, this should well, be really the play of the game. To be a closer game. West Deep Virginia ball, double coverage, pretty much. Today in this uh, football get game. yoked. I hope they can put this one past oh, fall down. It's difficult for Just fall down. To bounce back after an embarrassing loss like that. That was a basketball score. We better stay number one. I tell you that. We better not get cheated out of that uh, national title bid.
So, let, uh, are they going to show who got the player of the game? Yeah, definitely Bowen with five touchdowns. That's your Heisman winner right there. Hoist in the conference title. This loss will put a damper on what's been a great year. Yep. Ceiling dominance. That was a game. Now, we might have a shot at playing Bama again. And that'd be the grudge match. So let's go to stats. Eh, I could have done definitely better. This game um, threw a total of three picks. <laughs> so our boy threw for 343. Two touchdowns, two picks. Higgins threw one pick. I mean, it is what it is. 138 yards, five touchdowns for Bowen. Cross got 55. Newton, 18. Cutler, 21. Receiving 178. This dude... Uh, he's got to get drafted. He's got to be drafted. King, 55 yards. McBride, 66. Aaron Morris, 75 and a tutty. Nice. Defensive. Let's go. Did we get any sacks? We got one, two, three, four sacks. All by our senior guys. Picks. One by Matt Smith, sophomore. And one by the junior, Joey Odom. Solos were led by Terry Rivera, the freshman, followed by Corey Johnson, the freshman. Lee Jones, the senior corner. We're going to miss you at corner, buddy. All right, so 63-21, Big 12 champs. Leave the like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.